Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel Maison African Motives, uh, still working on engineering science N3. In this platform we shall be focusing on electricity which is uh, from one of the question papers that we are having as a revision from the question of April 2021 as we shall see how they ask these questions and uh, in this question paper actually we have a total of uh, 18 marks everything there. Okay, so let us just quickly look at the question that we are given on 7.1 we have three cells with an emf of 1,5 volts okay this is 1,5 volts so each is having 1,5 volts and an internal resistance of 0, 0,3 are connected in series with an ammeter okay with a resistance of 0, 0,4 ohms a 0, 0,6 ohm resistor and a radio so these are three things that we are connected there the ammeter reading is two amps calculate the following 7.11 the resistance of the radio okay as we can see that uh, on these resistors that we that we listed as we listed here the ammeter was given its resistance and the other resistor was given but the radio is not given its resistance all right, this is something like this, guys. If you are to see properly, um, this is going to give us, we know that it's going to give us just uh, like uh, a single cell like this, okay? Which is uh, uh, a single battery, just like this from the cells, which is uh, where we are going to have the total EMF of the battery here, which is taken from these three cells, which are in series and each having 1,5 volts so it's going to be three cells times 1,5 volts like this so if you multiply this you are going to obtain 4,5 volts so this is what you're going to obtain here as the total emf then also the internal resistance which are in series there are three and remember in series that guys you add so it's 0,3 plus 0, 0,3 plus 0, 0,3 because there are three or simply 0, 0,3 times three which is going to give us 0, 0,9 ohms all right so that means the internal resistance here is 0, 0,9 ohms like this all right then it is connected now to these series components which is an ammeter so there is an ammeter here okay let's just put this as an ammeter and what else we have um a resistor just a normal resistor then a radio there okay so we've got a normal resistor let's just say this is our normal resistor here and we've got a radio there all right so let's say this is our radio here all right so this is our circuit so this ammeter is the one that they are saying there is a resistance of the ammeter the ammeter with a resistance of 0, 0,4 so this is the resistance of the ammeter which is 0, 0,4 ohms all right then we have got a normal resistor this one of of this resistor which is 0, 0,6 so here we've got 0, 0,6 ohms and this resistor we do not know of the radio so we do not know the resistance of the radio in this case we do not know all right but we are given that this ammeter here it measures or there is a reading on the ammeter of two amps so it means that the current which flows here is equivalent to two amps that is the current that flows and remember that the current in a series circuit is the same same current here same current here same current here in a series circuit all right so how can we take advantage of this since we want to calculate this unknown resistor we are going to calculate the total resistance of the circuit since we know that in series the total resistance of the circuit is equal to the internal resistance plus the resistance on the ammeter plus 
the 0, 0,6 ohm resistor plus the resistor of the radio. So these are the resistors which add up to give us RRT. But we can calculate this RRT from the total EMF over the total current, which is the current which flows in the circuit. So the total EMF, that's 4,5 over the total current, which is 2 amps. So this is going to give us something like a 2,22. Yeah, this is 2,25 ohms, all right, like this, which is the total resistance. But this is not what we are calculating. We need the resistance of the radio, which is this one. Okay, so as you can see, to find the resistance of the radio, we are going to take all these to the other side. They are going to be subtracted from the total resistance. So that means our radio is going to be the total resistance, this one, which is this one. And it subtracts all the resistance. So it's going to be 2,25 minus, what are we subtracting? The internal resistance first, which is this one, because it's going to come this side, it's going to be minus. So you subtract 0, 0,9. Okay. What else? The resistance on the ammeter goes to this side, it's going to be minus. So you subtract this resistance on the ammeter, 0, 0,4. What else? We have got this resistor of 0, 0,6, which is just given. So we subtract also this. So it means you are going to be left with R only because you have subtracted these to the other side of the equation. So using your calculator, this is going to give you 0, 0,35. That's 0, 0,35 ohms. So that is the resistance of the radius. So it means here, you have got 0, 0,35 ohms. That is the, the case there. All right. So as you can see, guys, these guys, they are very clever in where they ask their questions, and you need to be also very clever in the way that you answer these questions. Okay. The potential difference across the radio, okay, that is actually the voltage drop that is going to happen. Okay, so this was 7.7, 7.11, and this is now uh, 7.12. All right. So across the radio, the potential difference, we said this is current and current is the same. So it's simply current times what? Resistance. We've got the potential difference there. So that's the case. So that's current times resistance, which is a current of 2 amps here times the resistance of the radio. So it's 2 times the resistance of the radio which is 0, 0.35 like this and remember voltage is measured in volts so it's going to give us 0, 0.7 volts so that is what we have there all right so that's how they ask these questions guys um another one is on 7.2 we are given that a 210 volt electrical toaster is rated at 3 5 kilowatts all right we have uh, a toaster yeah an electrical toaster let's just list information with a voltage of 210 volts and the power this is the rating which is the power okay 3,5 kilo this is power 3,5 kilowatts of which you know that kilo means thousand so it can be three thousand five hundred watts or you can just put it as it is okay then calculate the following here 7.21 the rated current from the rated power we must obtain the rated current so remember guys the relationship between this power and current and voltage that power is equivalent to voltage times current that is vi so in order for us to have the current this one it is going to be you divide by v definitely by v so it's power over the voltage the power is there which is this 3,5 but as a normal value without this kilo is 3,500 over the voltage of 
210 like this so you can obtain the current there so that's going to give us the current all right so let's just divide these two which is going to give us 16 comma six 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 like that okay which is going to give six comma one two three this will change into six so it will be seven this one so it's six six seven amps and remember guys this is current and current is measured in what in amps current measured in amps all right then 7.22 the resistance of the heating element of the toaster the resistance we know that uh, once current is there uh, we can play around with this a lot because there is a relationship between voltage and resistance and current which state that voltage is equal to ir so to find the resistance i'm going to divide by current by current here so the resistance is going to be v over i if i make v to be the subject there so that i can substitute the voltage this one of 210 over the current the one that i just calculated this is i like i but i just put it this way so that is our current 16,667 so i'm gonna divide these two and we could obtain 12,59974 something like that so three decimal places gonna one two three this seven is going to change this nine into ten it gives this one it changes this nine into ten so it's gonna give a one here so it will be a six so it will be twelve comma six zero zero which is just twelve comma six guys we can't write twelve comma six zero 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 like that so that will be the resistance there that we are working with all right then uh, on 7.23, uh, the current that it would draw if the supply falls to 200 volts. Okay. We all know that um, on a condition that uh, we have a resistor or the resistance of an element, that's, that's something that is fixed unless we are talking about those uh, resistances which changes but in this case we are talking about a fixed resistor which does not change but current changes due to the voltages so if the voltage drops definitely the current is going to change and we talked about a, a formula here which connects the voltage and the current so this is 7.22 is it 7.22 guys or 7.23 is it 7.23 all right so we talked about a formula which connects the voltage and the current there that voltage is equivalent to current times resistance so i'm just going to divide by resistance by resistance since oh sorry cancel this that's my current is voltage over resistance so what is the new voltage one that we are given now of um, 200, 200 volts it was at 220 before 210 before now it's at 200 volts so it's going to be 200 over the resistance which does not change and our resistance we obtained 12,6 guys remember this was our resistance here which is 12,6 so we're going to divide by 12 comma six all right so that is going to be the current of the circuit now uh which is 12.83 15 not 12 15.873 amps all right so like i said this is taken like it's fixed here in this case all right the resistor does not change like uh, of the element just uh, like that unless we are talking about those resistors which follow that concept but in this case it's a heater element a heating element so it's going to have a fixed resistance okay then this question let's just look at it guys and see what you're going to have they were being given to calculate the cost to toast a slice of bread just a slice of bread how much are you going to be to be charged 
at 220 volts if it takes the toaster five minutes to toast a slice of bread and it cost and the cost of electricity is 64 that is 64 cents there all right so there's something that we actually want to see that that we are now at 220 volts which means is something that has changed here which means even now uh, this part is going not to affect as much because what we need actually when you are working with uh, the cost we need uh, the power which is the rating of the power in this case which is uh, a 3,5 so what you ask yourself is that okay for the time that I'm given here what is going to be the kilowatt hour so that because this cost of 64 cents per unit it's considered as the kilowatt hour that is the the concept so it's actually 0 0.64 0 0.64 like this rent pay each unit when you ever use a unit okay so let's see what you're going to have now as the amount or the cost okay so the kilowatt hour is actually the power times time in hours that is the concept so the power is already there which is 3,5 because that is where it is rated so it's rated at 3,5 kilo as you can see this one is already in kilo watts times the time in hour so that it can be kilo hour so the time we are given five minutes which is not in hours and we know that the relationship that one hour is equivalent to 60 minutes so five minutes like this in hours is going to be 5 over 60 so it's going to be 5 over 60 like this it's now in hours so if you multiply this and this you are going to obtain 0 comma 291 yeah that's something like 0 comma 21915 2,9156 which is just something like 2 there if you round off, it's going to give us something like this, which is the kilowatt hour now. So if this is the kilowatt hour that we was obtained from the heating element for five minutes, then what is going to be the cost if we are having this per unit? We are having the cost of 0 0.64 per each unit so you're just going to multiply to find the cost so the cost is going to be the number of kilowatt hour which is 0 0.292 according to the time of five minutes times the amount which is in cents which is 64 0 comma 64 like that so if you multiply you're going to obtain uh, 0 comma 19 this is going to give us 0 comma 19 as the cost okay so you just try and uh, multiply properly there as what you're going to have or obtain so these are the typical questions guys as you can see on electricity yeah for engineering science and three they can ask questions on costs uh, maybe there is a it's, a it's a heating element or whatever that you are give as long it uses electricity there is a cost that is going to uh, appear there okay so as you can see the best thing whenever you're answering these questions actually is the use or the need of having a diagram this is one of the basic things that you actually need to have and it is going to help you a lot. So that's it guys from Amazon African Motives. Till we meet again.